Yo, it's Lava Holic. I'm back with another video, man. Let's do it. You know, I ain't make no videos because it was really nothing to make videos about. Uh, really nothing going on except for the game seven. I was, but for the NBA Finals, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video after every single video except for game one, maybe maybe not game one, just because I made a video for y'all today, which is the day of the game one. I had to I had to I had to think of so many predictions. I didn't make a video immediately because I had to think of some predictions. But yeah. So yeah, I might not make a like a analysis if you want to say f for game one, but I will make one for the last three video. I mean last three games, excuse me, for the NBA Finals, and which is crazy. Celtics versus Warriors. I had the Celtics coming out in five. I said it. I said the Celt the Warriors was gonna lose the uh, game three, game four, uh, and they did. And then they went back home and closed it out like I said it was gonna happen. And the Celtics won in seven. I said the Heat was gonna win in seven. Uh. I think they still were supposed to win the seven. Jimmy, I think he had a good shot selection, but it just didn't fall. Like he was already tired. He played the whole forty-eight minutes. So if he would have did went to overtime, it was gonna be another. Uh, he was gonna get burned out like Kevin Durant did, and we all know what happened in that. He went zero for six. I mean, yeah, zero for six in overtime because he was burned out carrying that team on his back, just like Jimmy was doing. So I don't, I don't got nothing to say about Jimmy. He did what he had to do. He tried his hardest. He fought to the final buzzer, literally. But, yeah, so now we got Celtics versus Warriors. A young team and a team that's been here and been doing this and the Golden State Warriors. And that's all in one team. And we got one young team who's new to the stage. We got some young killers and a dynamic duo and the Celtics. So, this NBA Finals is crazy because this is like the best offense in the league versus the best defense in the league. And we all know defense wins games. But, if you want to win titles, if you want to win games, all of that, you got to have some offensive firepower. And the Warriors have more than enough offensive firepower. They have Klay Thompson. Game 6 Clay is basically a whole different player from Klay Thompson. They got Stephen Curry, of course, the best three-point shooter in the world. They got Jordan Poole, who can turn it on in a blink of an eye, who you got to watch out for sometimes, or you don't even guard on the other nights. And a dark horse, in my opinion. They got Kavon Looney, turning it to Kavon Elijah on, grabbing 20 rebounds in a closeout game against Memphis, grabbing 18 in a closeout game against the Mavericks. So the Warriors are stacked, but the Celtics also have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Robert Williams, Al Horford. All of these people, I'm saying, can play excellent defense and can grab rebounds. That is the one of the Warriors' key problems is offense. I mean, not offense, I'm sorry. Rebounds and turnovers. Both of those things will get you blown up. The Celtics can run on turnovers. And they're one of the best rebounded teams in the league. But over this course of the playoffs, the Warriors have been one of the best rebounded teams uh, due to Kevon, Lo Kevon Looney's resurgence. Uh, well, a surgence, if you want to say that. But yeah, so he's been keeping them afloat on the rebounding end. So there's really nothing, nothing that's holding the Warriors back besides turnovers is what I want to say. Turnovers and they need Stephen Curry to perform at, I want to say 30 points per game. He's been he's been playing good. He's been playing good, but they need him to play excellent. Like I mean, excellent. Like masterclass. Like 2019 game three, excellent. If they want to win this game, or if they want to win this series, but I expect them to do. I expect they do. I'm a Warriors fan. I'm guilty. I'm a Warriors fan. I've been a Warriors fan since 2019, 2020. So I'm not new to this. I know what Steph Curry is capable of. I know what Klay Thompson is capable of. I know what Jordan Poole is capable of. I know what every single person on that team is capable of. And I know how they will get the job done. What I'm worried about is how they will get the job done against this excellent defense. And the grittiness this other team has. Now, I'm not that worried. Because we went against a baby version of this team in the Grizzlies. And then their star player went out. But if Jason Tatum is going to have another one of those... Uh, clonker games where he's not hitting anything and he can't have one of those games by the way he cannot have one of those games because if you do the Warriors are going to capitalize and they're going to win this series in five 
you cannot have one of those games and especially not at home because the Warriors are one of the best away teams in these playoffs if not the best so the the Celtics have to worry about that but other than that the Celtics also have it pretty good think about this they have the defensive player of the year Marcus Smart they're I'm pretty sure they're the best defensive team. Yeah, they were. They were the best defensive team in the NBA. They're the best defensive pe- uh, team in the playoffs. So the the Celtics don't have anything to worry about on the defensive end. All of their worries come on the offensive end. Just like how the Warriors, all their all their worries come on the defensive end. All the Celtics worries comes on the offensive end. Because who are they gonna have to step up as the third star, as the third consistent star? Like Marcus Smart, he has some like some. Uh, some small snaps here and there of uh, him dropping 20 points not consistently though and they had Derek white with also some real small sparks a little bit but he's gonna but both of those people are gonna need to be consistent sparkers consistent shooters if they want to have a chance to win this series because guess what the warriors will double team you they will leave that that shooter open and let him win y'all the game because if the, he's not a consistent trustworthy shooter the warriors will let him have him trust me there but i'm really excited for this game it's at eight o'clock so let's we just, let's see what happens y'all let's see what happens this 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 might be one of the best playoff series in in a long time i want to say one of the best final series let me excuse myself in a long time i hope we have some overtimes and all that as a basketball fan i hope this is a close series but as a warriors fan i hope we get this over with if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But it's been Lavaholic. My prediction is Warriors and Six. Let me know what y'all let me know what y'all feel about that. But yeah. It's been your boy Lavaholic. And I'm out. Peace.